Uh, today I'm looking at heat waves by glass animals. Uh, it's a quite a simple chord sequence. Uh, obviously, you can see from the intro, and if you've, if you've heard the song, which you probably have, uh, you'll know that it's not just drummed chords, but it's it's picking out notes of the chords, like sort of arpeggios, really. Uh, so the trick is with this one to hold shapes with your left hand. So if you were looking at a tab for this, uh, say for the intro, you wouldn't be going separately, be holding the shape and then picking out the separate notes. So that the whole thing rings. So you have to do that for the whole song. Uh, there's a, a, a high guitar part at the beginning which we'll go through in a sec. And then for the rest of the song, it's an octave lower by the sound of it. It's quite low in the mix. It's quite hard to pick it out, but it's, it's an octave lower by the sound of it. Uh, when you watch them play it live, the guitarist tends to stick to the high up one. So I think if I was gonna play this in a band, I'd probably do the same, but I'm gonna show you both, show you the high version and then the low version, and you can decide what you like best. So if we just look at the intro, the sequence we're playing is it starts with a C-sharp minor chord. It's not a standard shape C-sharp minor. What we need to do is this. And that's 11th fret on the fourth string. I'm using my first finger. 13th fret on the third string with the third finger. 12th fret on the first string with the second finger. So I'm not actually using the second string here. My third finger is just touching the second string from above. So it's muting it. If I do accidentally catch it, it the note won't ring through. Uh, and then with the right hand, what we need to do is, I'm use, you could use a pick. Uh, I'm using my thumb and two fingers for this. Um, but either way is fine. And you've got to play the strings in this order. It's four, three, one, four, three, one, four, three. And that pattern of what I call a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, that's a very, very common pattern in kind of pop music really it's just used absolutely loads you listen to any Ed Sheeran song for example you can hear this pattern one two three one two three one two uh, I, th I think I've talked about this in other lesson videos so I won't go on too much about it now but it, it is a really useful pattern to know about so if I just play that with this hand holding the shape it's this And that's the pattern you've got to really be comfortable with. So that's the first chord. Next one's a B major. And to do that, what we do is shift the whole thing back two frets. So I've got nine, 10 and 11 at the moment. Uh, but what I want to do is get rid of this 10 on the first string. So take that finger away. Add my little finger onto the 11 on the first string instead. And that's what makes this one major rather than minor. If I was to do that, That'd be a B minor. This is a B major. And we do the same pattern that we did for the first chord. So if I put those together up to speed. And then what's quite cool here is it's, it's nice, a nice, neat little pattern that he does. He just repeats those shapes on the next set of strings. So you go back up to where we started, but then come across like this. So all I've done is move each finger across to the next string. So my right hand has to do the same, and I'll just play fifth, fourth, and second now, same pattern. And then move down like we did before, change the second finger for the fourth finger. So for your left hand, it's the same shape, same movement. I'll put all four together. Um, and these are based on bar chords, really. That last one, for example, comes from this bar chord. The penultimate one comes from that bar chord. And you could play this holding actual bar chords, but I find it's easier just to put your fingers on the strings that you need. And there are other places you could play these shapes. Um, you could keep it all on the same strings and move down here, but the guitarist on the live uh, videos that I've seen, he's, he does it how I just played it. So that's the intro. Um, he plays that three times, I think, and the third one is cut short. So when you're on the third one, he gets the last chord. Instead of going, which 
is eight notes, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, just as the one, two, three, and stops. So the third sequence sounds like this. So there's two complete sequences and then that third one which is shorter and there's a little pause. Um, and then we go into the, what I call the verse sequence. Which is kind of the same chords. There's, there's like an extra one that's, that's thrown in there. But this is where I think that on the original recording they're playing lower. So I'm going to move down to lower versions of these same chords. Just to quickly explain that, I'm going to play the intro sequence with the lower versions, just so you can see where they are. So the first one is C-sharp minor. That's going to be here. And the B, which was there, is now here. And this one is G-sharp minor. That's going to be here. Best way to play this, I think, is to have first finger on third string, fourth fret, third finger on fourth string at sixth fret and use your thumb to get this one here. That's the equivalent of this. You could do it like that. Or like that, a bit of a stretch. But I think the thumb one's the easiest. And if you're doing that, then the next shape which is the equivalent of this, the F sharp, that's going to be here. And I'm using my thumb because if I used it there, so it's easier. So this is a major shape, and the one there is a minor shape. They come from these bar chords. So I do think the intro is played higher up, but I'm just going to play it there so you can see what it looks like there. Where that would be. So those are the chords we're going to use and we play that once, that same sequence for the verse, but then we move to an E and E is like this. You might recognise that, it's just part of this E chord. And then we go to B, G sharp minor which is that one. So the, the whole verse sequence looks like this. And that's that sequence is used a lot in this song. If you want to stick with the high up one just quickly, that would look like this. think that sounds nicer but as I said on the record I think they're playing it lower down. I might have an effect on the guitar I might be playing it here and the effect makes it sound lower. So that's the verse and this is cut slightly short at the end in the actual verse sequence so on the last one when we go one instead of going it's just four notes so it's not one two three one two three one two it's just one two three one like that and it stops and then we've got what I suppose is the chorus of the song it's the same sequence that I just played but without that little stop at the end so every chord is the same length so that's quite easy and we've got another verse. Verse is pretty much the same, except there's no stop at the end and it's twice as long. They, these sequences are all virtually the same. If you listen to the song, you'll hear exactly when, when each part comes in. Um, then there's another chorus, same as before. Another verse without a stop. 
um, there's a bridge section which hasn't got any guitar in and it's just the same chords there's like a little build up bit it's very short uh, so you don't need to play that because there's definitely no guitar on that uh, then I've got a list here there's another chorus then there's a middle eight Uh, the middle eight is, is a little bit different. Uh, the guitar is quite faint um, at the beginning of this and I don't think the guitar is there at all for the second part of this middle eight. So for the first part I think it's there faintly. Uh, so we'll have a look at what that is. But I'm going to show you some chords that would be in the second half if there is a guitar there or if there was a guitar there. This is what you'd play. So the first half is E, F sharp, G sharp minor, B. So that'd be like this. I was playing twice as long on each chord as, as in the other sections of the song. And then we go back to the, the shorter length on each chord for the next part. Now this is where I don't think the guitar's in there, but if you were going to play along it would be E, F sharp, G sharp minor, D sharp. This is one we haven't had yet. It looks like this. So it's six on the fifth string, five on the fourth string, three on the third string. It stands out that chord in the song because it's the only time this song, this chord appears. Uh, so I'll just play this sequence up to the D sharp. So it's and I've got E, F sharp, G sharp minor, B. pause at the end like before um, quite a long pause actually so it's a bit longer than, than the other pauses in the song and it feels like the song stopped and then suddenly they come in again <coughs> so that's that whole middle eight sounds like this So then we've got the, the final chorus, which is twice as long. So it's four times around the sequence, same as before, four times around the sequence this time. And the last one, they're not really singing, but it's, it's part of the chorus, the last chorus. So you go four times round, and on the last one, there's a stop like we did earlier, where we play one, two, three, one. So instead of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, we stop and one, two, three, one. That's how it ends. So I'll just play that complete chorus for you. the whole song. So yeah it seems quite complicated because I've gone through every section but the just quick recap of the basics you can if we just take the main chord sequence which is played a lot you can either do it down here which is like this <laughs> Uh, 
and if you just remember that those are the same chords as the ones I just did low down and you can choose to play the whole song with these higher versions of the chords. Okay, I hope that all makes sense. Uh, if you like this lesson, please click like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, please suggest any other songs you want to see lessons on and I'll, I'll do my best to, to have a go at them. Okay, thanks.